Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's a box of nickels. I've had this one kicking around for a while. No date on there, but it's older than the box I just did. I'll spare everyone my crummy knife skills I've already sliced. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Again, circulation. Definitely very circulated. There's a lot of worn looking ones, so I'm hoping for the best. I'll bring you in if there's anything exciting. All right. Oi. I believe we've got our first find of the proceedings. Got some foreign crap here. What do we have? Canada. Very cool. 1986. And we're happy about that, so. Flipping my way through coins and came across this one here. Kind of looks older. And do, 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 sure enough, 1940. We love it. So no mint mark means it's from Philadelphia. Worn, but happy to have it. Is that a crack in the lamination? No. Just the faint detail of Monticello, whatever's left. Back again with more here, and, and 1952. It just had that look, and it's got a D mint mark. Flipped over a few others, and they were like 64, 62, but 59 and older, we're keeping. So back again, same roll. Sorry for a handheld shot, but 1940, and it's a plain date, but cool. All right, we're still firing away here. I've even uh, set a few aside without you. We'll review everything at the end, but my goodness, this is a decent box. So this is incredible. There's another 1940. This will be the fourth one for the box. And another Philadelphia. So I did, come on, focus here. I did uh, kind of separate things out to see what we have, but that's four 1940 Philadelphias. That's incredible. All right, unfortunately, the box is done, but we didn't do too badly. I mentioned earlier I'd be saving anything 1959 and older, so kind of ratty. I'll throw it back in the end here, but just wanted to show uh, what was in the box anyway. So 59D and kind of crumb bum shape. Got three 1958Ds. Also nothing really spectacular quality wise, but still decent finds. Then we had 1956. Got a Philadelphia, pretty worn, and we got a Denver, also well worn. But the probably the find of the box, as far as I'm concerned, 1954 S, and very nice condition, I must say. Fingerprint, of course, might even be one of mine on there. But yeah, pretty cool. So no uh, no full steps or anything. It's got a stoop, but <laughs> no, uh, no detail there. But yeah, pretty happy with that one. So, and then of course, no 55s or actually no 53 there. I think this is 52 PND. And yeah, nothing special there. Actually, this one's not too, too bad for the 52. And, and we got a 1951D as well. So, and then we lost our focus, but um, we've got some 1940s coins as well. So 1946, plain date and pretty mucked up, but seen worse. And that bunch of 1940 Philadelphias. So we got four of those in the same box. So pretty wild, but 
decent amount of older coins. Then we got uh, kind of iridescent um, George, uh, Jefferson. <laughs> Someone's done some toning, or I don't know what that is on there. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's kind of gross. But magenta and whatnot. And last but certainly not least, we've got some Canadian coins represented, 1986. And there she is. May she rest in peace. And then the one I found off camera, 1983. And not bad. So I thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye, bye.